Hello everyone and welcome to Gaming Friday. I'm Gary. And I'm Ian. And today we're playing Alien Trilogy. And uh, I'm so excited, I'm just going to let the intro, once it starts, play out in front of you. This is super nostalgic for me. This game came out, I think, in 1996. Yeah. And was just... <sighs> Watch this. Take Gorman and his team to investigate. I can't help it. This is so fucking amazing. It is. I just, when this game came out, oh, seeing this opening sequence for the first time, you know, after seeing all the films, you're like, how are they going to make this into a trilogy? It's just, ah. <laughs> when it just looks like it's starting with the second movie straight away. Yeah, you're just like, oh, I'm going in with Marines, you know? Who am I playing as? You know, I always thought that the voice actor that was giving this introduction from the company always sounds like the guy from Space Above and Beyond, um, right. the Queen character. Yeah. Just if you listen closely, it just sounds like him. But I, I checked, and he's not not credited. Just a standard, general-looking voice actor. Yeah, yeah. Four Marines running out. Now, which one's which? I can probably tell you that that one's Vasquez. Uh, there's that Bishop, one's Vas there's Bishop Ripley. and Ripley, who's already there's, got a shaved head. There's Hudson. How could so you tell it was Hudson? People. It was just his hands. He's the one who hacks all the time. Yeah. They go in. Four Marines go in. And there's, there's oh. one dead. That's got to be Dietrich. There, there's there's uh, there's Vasquez. Uh, that, one, oh. that, one, that one is Hicks, I think. Ripley <laughs> grabs her pistol and she runs away. That's amazing! This is just one of the... For me, it's one of the most memorable video game introductions of all time. Yeah. And I am, as you've probably seen already in our Aliens review, we're huge fanboys of the Alien franchise. Definitely. It goes without fail. So, it, such fanboys. We're only, yeah, we're only going to do specific... What are you levels. doing? What are you doing? You cheating? I, I am, I am cheating? cheating. I am cheating. I'm, see, I would love to do a sequential playthrough of this game. Maybe one day, but... Let us know in the comment section if you want us to do a complete playthrough of the game. We I, Ian has just, just told me that he is a retro gaming god, so my challenge to you now, Mr. Buckingham, right. is to play Alien Trilogy from start to finish with... Without cheats on xenophobia difficulty. Done. Gauntlet. Laid. Do what, it. What now? No, not now. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, but if you agree with me, let me know in the let us know in the comments section and uh we'll get in without cheats. Uh, easy. But no, easy. I but, did it when I was younger. I yeah. played it through on the normal difficulty. Where's, where's your proof? I then played it where's through your, on her. Your proof? The proof <laughs> the proof is I know for a fact that on Xenomania the aliens will respawn. If you shoot them and they fall on the floor, their bodies fall on the floor, they will die. But if you go to a different area and come back, they will respawn. So the only way to stop them from respawning is to grenade them. And as it's on Xenomania and weapons are, you, you get a few bits of ammo than okay. normal playthroughs. You have to keep your grenades for specific points because you go around a corner and you forgot that alien was there. Game over. Adios, muchachos. Yeah. Wow. Are you, wow. Okay. Well, I'm trying to. I pick up you your there. gauntlet and I slap it right back at <laughs> All you. All right. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll let uh, our audience know what they want for the next yeah. sequential. This is just a. This is, so this just, is just a fun just, one. This is just a fun video right now, just so that we can show our love for the game. Yeah. Show our nostalgia for the game. I remember I didn't actually own this game when oh. I first was. Gonna, I I got on my bike and I cycled all the way to my friend's house, which was like six miles away. <laughs> yeah. It ma managed to borrow this game he was like yeah borrow any game you want and i was like oh is that alien trilogy and he was like oh, you can't borrow that one i'm like please <laughs> please <laughs> i'm begging you and i played it of course without a memory card oh so playing this game i i had reams and reams of a4 paper with all the different codes on for the different levels yeah it wasn't until way way into the game before i ever got the cheat code which is probably one of the few ever cheat codes i can ever remember is i got pink acid boots on it's the ultimate cheat it's code. the ultimate cheat code next to i don't know sonic's level select <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> i'm suddenly acid but here we are. This 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 is the first level. This is the first level I picked. I remember this one. 
uh, this, is, is, this is still the first part this of is the trilogy. The, this is the colony of the trilogy. This is the star. I've obviously I've got all weapons and not unlimited ammo or unlimited health. But a hundred uh, grenades should see you clear of most of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, I have got unlimited ammo. I've got to put that one on. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. But this, I remember this level massively because there's a there's a room I think you can go into which has got glass. And back in the day, I thought glass was so awesome in this game. It made the you smashing could smash noises. glass. Yeah. I'm going to chase this face hugger. <laughs> but, I mean, the reason why this game was so awesome was because it was, you know, it was, for me, the first real Alien licensed game I'd played since the Spectrum. Yeah. You know, which was just in, you know, you, oh, and there was also a first person shooter, uh, Aliens, I think, on the Spectrum as well. Yeah. Uh, but they were just so awful. You know, when you when you saw that this game was available... And, of course, coming off the back of, you know, uh, Doom and Wolfenstein and Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem, yeah. Just first-person shooters were the the craze. And, you know, this game, I always put it down as one of the best games I've ever played from childhood. I still remember this game fondly today, despite looking at it now, going, ah, it could probably do with a tune-up. You know, if any game was deserving of an HD remake... It's this one. It's this one. It's this <laughs> one. Right, I gotta go find. I got these. These are the lights, uh, uh, the big TVs for the switches. I remember these switches. Turn that one on. Uh, but for me, it was the fact that it, you know it it captured the sound effects yeah. as well, which none of the other games prior to this really had. There you know, the sound of the pulse rifle, the sound of the aliens, the face huggers, the doors opening and closing. Yeah, they had it. Yeah, unlike unlike Doom and Duke Nukem, that kind of had their own sound this was completely different this is the glass i'm talking about oh, yeah i really want to shoot it but i'm gonna wait because i I'm, I'm taking There's... my time with the game i'm looking around you know i've killed a couple of security guys here you see their bloody bodies on the floor There's some so they they, they weren't even androids they were real. no they're they're people who have been infected by the aliens and are fighting against you i get very confused with the story because you get told in the opening sequence that burke is there to get an alien out yeah and you need ripley's help so they send Ripley into these areas to wipe everything out, but they want an alien to get out. Yeah, they want one. Yeah. They don't want, you know, an entire colony. <laughs> yeah. So just wipe everything. Get a smart gun out. Time to get the smart gun out. Yeah. Just for shits yeah. and giggles. And of course, this game does have its plethora of secret areas. Uh, you know, there's different walls that can can be exploded. Was that a chest burster? That was a chest not? burster. He nice. came out of the locker. I forgot that this game even had those in it. Of course, I do like the fact that you do get the wall, uh, the ceiling running uh, alien, three dog aliens. Yeah, that was one of the things I always loved, was the fact that you could get aliens on the ceiling. And the only way you could really attack them was by looking up and down, which in this game was really, really bad. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think there is. I think it's more of an auto-aim to shoot alien targets well, on different the, the smart platforms. gun, The smart gun does lock on right. with, with its bullets. So if you've got smart gun ammo, they're very easy to hit. But yeah. I can't remember what the buttons are. I think it was like you had to hold all the the shoulder buttons and then press up and down. I'll have to, I have to look it up. You're going to have to look, check, yeah. Oh. For, for the, should the time come where you are doing a complete playthrough and you don't have all the right weapons? Oh. Oh. This was always a cool room. Yep. The it looks more like the cryopods from Alien and instead could, of Aliens where they're all in a line instead. You could actually activate them. I mean, how cool is that? Oh, there's oh, a in it. Ah, but where's the person that it chest burst from? Uh, or was it just maybe that alien was trying to go to cryosleep? Yeah, it's it's climbed in there and pressed the button <laughs> from the outside. So. No, oh, no, 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 no. Kill it. <laughs> Kill it. And um, nothing. No, nothing. Yeah. Might go back to the glass room. So how many how many stages how many levels are in the game? How the, many stages per 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 movie? Because it is the entire trilogy in some weird fashion. Yeah, in, in some weird fashion, the co- you land at the colony at the start. Oh, and LV four two six. LV four point LV four two six, and then once you've finished off the colony section. You move on to the prison section, which is supposed to be an add-on to the colony. So the colony had a prison? The colony had a prison, and you go there, and the prison is pretty much laid out like the prison in Alien 3, and you have all your missions there. Yeah. And then once you've finished there, you then go on to the derelict spacecraft. That's interesting. Yeah. (laughs) In in its own way. Its own little map, you know. Yeah. 
It was just a way of right. Okay, how can we work? The I did think that together? that being able to go aboard the derelict spacecraft was absolutely fantastic. It's one of the coolest points. I mean, this 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 game has nods to the film. I mean, of course, of like, course, like that pod room we just went through, and the different weapons. Like I said, the uh, it has all the weapons. It has the seismic charges, yeah. pulse rifle, smart gun, flamethrower. Oh, let's get. The flame I always like the pistol. That if you ran out of ammo with it, you were always always had the last bullet. Yeah, always could fire one more shot. One more shot, and you just had to keep running. I'm looking for a battery for that switch. All right. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I I'll be honest. I never in my childhood end. I I regret to tell you, I. <laughs> Love those breaking noises. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm listening. I just, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, one more. Uh, yeah, we saw this creamy white stuff everywhere. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> I enjoyed that. I'm going to do it again in this other room. Uh, oh, you, you were saying. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, yeah, I never actually finished this game. Uh, I that, that some some of the later zones yeah. where, where there's mist and fog and secreted resin all over the place, wandering around the hive. You, you can get very lost. In I it. got very lost, and and all I could hear constantly. The last thing I ever remember hearing in this game is some colonist strapped up somewhere going, "Kill me, yeah, kill me." I always love those over and over and over you, again. I'm like, I can't find you. If you came up to them and let, uh, spoke to them, yeah. After a while, the chestburster would pop out. Yeah, but I could never find this last one that you had to rescue in order to get to the the exit door to open up for you. Yeah, yeah. And it just never happened for me. And then, of course, I found the level level select codes. Skip that. Skip that one level. Managed to then finish the game. And because I'd used the level skips, never I never got to, got see, got the to end see the end sequence. end sequence. Yeah. I got. I got to tell you, I actually, I actually cheated this game. Uh, when I first when I first played it through. I, I completed it yeah. and then used the cheat. And a friend of mine said, look, if you put the cheat on and put the codes and put all the stuff on you, yeah. you won't get to see the ending. Yeah, which is what happened to which me. Which is what yeah. happened. But if you just put on all weapons, yeah, then you will just... You, you can actually play through the whole game and get to the end sequence. Okay. Well, ah. while we're here, I'm going to change the level. Okay, yep, that's... Here we are. All right, so we've just been on Med Lab in the colony. Do you want to see some alien threeness? Yes, please. Take me to the prison. Take you to the prison. Right. Okay. So we got the first queen's layer in the colony. There were three I queens. I think we'll, we'll, we'll save three a queen queens. battle for for the end video. At the yeah. end of the video. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the lead mold. There's, there's the queen's layer. We've got the lead mold, the tunnels and ducts, the furnace controls, mining and smelting, tunnel and ducts, lead works, meeting tower, canteen. Let's do the canteen. Canteen? Oh, yeah. I might have some more smashing noises. Nice. I'm going to turn off unlimited ammo. Just, just, just. Oh, you're just teasing yourself yeah, a little bit now, just, yeah? Yeah, just, <laughs> just forcing myself now. So, of course, somehow, well, I guess this isn't Fury 161. This is just the prison of the... Well, it's supposed to represent Fury 161, yeah. Yeah. but to add it on... Like, I, I actually thought about this, is that, well, a colony would actually have to have its own prison because you would have people being mm. bad. And you'd have to deal with them. Yeah, but would you need a prison the size of this game's prison interpretation? Not really. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it would glass. I get to smash more glass. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Guys with pulse rifles. Guys, Damn. that's my glass. They look, they look more like marines and mercenaries. Yeah, I think I think this, these, these are supposed to represent mercenaries. I don't think you actually get any prisoners. No, I don't. I don't remember. Don't remember there being many prisoners. I just remember there being a shit ton of aliens. Yeah, lots of the lots of the dog versions. I wonder if this there is a prison level you can go to that. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. go. That has the uh, cryo chambers. What from from uh, aliens? From Alien Free. You actually go to the EEV and you have wow. to fight around the EEV. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, this and that's what I mean. This the, the the game had such mad nods that as an alien fan, you just owed it to yourself to to, to find these moments. Yeah, to find these moments the to game. go. Oh yeah. my god! You know, before obviously Colonial Marines which, did it. Yeah, which yeah. at the same time didn't do it. Well, I mean, uh, too the, the, the Alien versus Predator games also quite regularly went back to derelict ships yeah so but i mean we're talking what what'd you say 1996 for this, for this one? one yeah so yeah. 1996 we were probably what 
13, around 15, that, yeah. something like that. We're just getting, we, we're not even old enough to have watched Aliens and Alien 3, but we've managed already to. Already seen them several already times seen over. Them, watched them several times. Now we've got a game. So it's like, you know, your parents turn to you and they go, oh, just go upstairs and play your computer. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to go and play Alien Trilogy. Exactly. It's the go-to game to play on the PlayStation. No multiplayer. Didn't need it. I mean, you know, this is one of the kill aliens, I guess. I didn't even conceive of playing multiplayer at the time. Yeah. I'm going to try and grenade somebody. But it was, you know, you'd always think it'd be great to wander around a game like this co-op, group of marines fighting a ton of aliens. Still, yet to this day, hasn't been done properly. No. <laughs> Not very well, no. No. Uh, okay, so we can't get through that door. Go through the canteen. Oh. Oh, look, did you see that <laughs> shot? Did you see that shot? <laughs> nice shooting. Oh. Uh, uh, went too wide, three wide. Got him that one. Disintegrated. That's a lovely fountain of blood. That's that's from that's from playing lots of Xenomania because you had to you couldn't you couldn't risk shooting him. If I if I shot him He would have just shot you first dead. Well that, well this is it. I'm um the, the guys I've all shot over there. If I want to go back over there, they'll yeah. respawn. Right. You know, so do I waste the ammo, go over there and kill them again? Or do I waste the grenades to make sure they don't get back up? It's You just want to really clear a path. Yeah. To the way uh, you need to go. There's a rock. Now we got it. Come on. Yeah. Nice shooting. It's marking out. Right, okay. Okay, that's just the door I've just unlocked. Brilliant. Now why did I freaking do that for? So we have just recently uh, reviewed Aliens, and that was uh, an hour-long, long video, Ian. Yeah. I said at the time. I mean, you, you, you could talk about it. We could talk about Aliens for hours. We could. We we had to stop ourselves. Yeah. In, in that in that video from from going overboard. We had to keep it focused on what people wanted to hear or what they haven't heard before, and keeping it truthful and honest exactly. from our I mean, own point like, of view. Some people would say, you know, it's like, well, what is the point of reviewing Aliens? Because you know, it's just, well, well, well I guess when it's almost impossible to say anything new about it other than to just reinforce the love for it well it's like i said it's from personal point of view that's true you, you, you i mean that's that's always the interesting thing is that you know almost everybody loves those those movies or especially aliens but everyone always loves it for different reasons first yeah you know whether it's different characters or different sequences or different events or and yeah. it's a series i mean it's just a, an awesome series stemming from one idea and has created a legacy. A legacy, a universe, a fictional history of a species and a people that don't even technically exist at the moment. I mean, I reckon more people believe in predators than they believe in God himself. Um, bold statement, I know. It's a bold statement, yeah. It's a sweeping <laughs> statement. <laughs> but, the, but this is it. If I still believe predators built the pyramids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Along with the Transformers. Along with the Transformers, yeah. <laughs> right. I'm trying to find my way out of this. I'm all breaking noises. Yeah. You're enjoying that way I, too I'm much. I'm way, way too much, but I can't help it. Those those glasses got me through some dark times. <laughs> yeah, come on, I got smart on mother. Right. You know, it never really even bothered me that much that there there were that many Wailing Utani officers or personnel in this game. No, it's just more more to mow down. Need a battery for that. Yeah, well, they they kind of backed it up by telling you at the start, saying, "Look, you know, there's operatives in there who, who um, are working against you." So you're just like, right, everything's an enemy. Indeed, indeed. I'm going to stick my night vision on. Ooh. So there is a night vision goggles, and there is a shoulder-mounted light. Shoulder-mounted light. Do they yeah. both run on batteries? Do they only last the level? They or? they only last for a short period. Um, oh, oh, you can face that guy. But unlike Alien Resurrection, I won't die, <laughs> which I always thought was a cool, nifty feature. Yeah. Um, they, they 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 last for a little while, and then they'll stop, and then you can find new ones to put on. But Usually, by the time you've found one, you're so used to running around in the dark. Yeah. You know, you, it's just you kind don't of need, pointless. It's kind of, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it helps. I mean, look, I mean, yeah, you can quite easily see what's down this corridor. Yeah. Even though the door distance isn't too great. But you know, I always considered when you get face uggered in this is that you don't actually get face uggered. You still manage to, to pull the thing off to your face. Yeah. Yeah. Just in time. Uh, 
Well, that's just a pointless room. Grenade. Oh, or I'd oh. consider that you're already bold, Ripley, so you've already got the alien inside you, so the Aphasa just realizes that, you know. <laughs> that there's no point to it. <laughs> there's no point. So you've just reconnected that corridor, which must yeah. have been barricaded off for some reason. Well, it was a secret, really. I, I, Yeah, I opened it up and realized, hold on a minute, this room is completely void of anything. So then I throw a grenade. <laughs> Always throw a grenade. Okay, I think I picked up the battery, which I need to put in a... Door... Door section switch, switch thing, which I'm going to guess is over here because there's an enemy over here that I haven't killed. That's how I always knew where I had to go. Yeah, as soon as you go into an area where there's still enemies you haven't killed. Yeah, you're like, you're ah, in a new area. Way. Yeah. Uh, ah, that exact same way of thinking. No, the door is back it's here. It's that rule still applies to me in games today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Unless you're playing Call of Duty and you just realise that you really shouldn't go any direction. Uh, I haven't played Call of Duty in years. This is years. just one of the problems I did find with Alien Trilogy is that it's very easy to get lost. Well, at least you managed to find the sprint button. Yeah, I did. I was I was replaying this recently and didn't even notice there was a sprint button. There's a sprint button. Like I said, this this game had lots of extra added features. You had it had a sprint. You had look up and down. And where the hell is the switch? Of course, I, I don't think the um this was at, at the time. There's no no analog sticks. This was all moving around with the D pad. Oh yeah. So it became much more a game about strafing left and right than it did. Uh, moving around yeah right okay. well, before you're moving around need basically. a battery can I open up this door I can blow that up blow that up kill that I'm always surprised they survived the blast with those get out of those canisters yeah come on you mothers ah get some still one in there with you yeah he's I do love around. the motion tracker of course, the motion tracker sound effect as well. It only it doesn't show the thing it's missing is showing how far away from you it is. Yeah. And the white dots on the radar should be a bit bigger. But the novelty of it, it still works. Yes. It shows you the general direction of the uh, moving target. Come on. Yeah. Spray and pray. Well, you haven't got to worry too much about ammunition. No. <laughs> Even though. Uh, I'm run low because I didn't. I turned unlimited ammunition off, didn't I? Um, I'm looking for a battery for this switch. So well, you are in the Alien the Three, door. you know, environment, and I'm pretty sure they said that there's no no batteries. Yeah, there's only a few batteries. No ice cream. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> let's check the auto mapper. Can you still move around whilst you're in? Or no, 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 you can only check. Move it around like in aliens. Yeah. The auto mapper. Uh, right, okay. Stop that, your grinning and drop your linen. That did not help me at all. I'll no, just admit that no did not batteries. help me at all. So And um, now your your night vision goggles seem to have run yeah. out of juice as well. Well, I mean, as this is only just a quick playthrough, I could just quit back to the menu. Um, I think you probably should, Ian, because yeah. right now you know that, that battery has escaped. I, the idea is the battery has gone from me, and this is it. This is it. I could, I could kill no. the enemies really easily in a massive playthrough. Yeah, it's getting lost and <laughs> missing and, shit. And, and this is the same problem I had when I did my Alien Isolation playthrough. Is that I just kept running over familiar ground. Like, have I been this way? Do I need to go this way? Yeah, that's I it. I just get so lost. Right, I'm going to go to another one of my favourite levels. This one was a hard one, actually, I remember, because you had to keep going back to it. Keep going back to it? Yes, this is the this is the space jockey pilot chamber Aha. from the derelict ship from Alien. Awesome. And it was kind of like the main HUD hub yeah. in the Alien section. Okay. So you would come back to these horrible corridors Ugh. and you would have to find a, the door that would lead you on to the next section. You know, it kind of reminds me of the ship from Predator 2 now. <laughs> the, uh, the the video game. Yeah. The, the, uh, the Mega Drive Predator 2 ship. Gotcha. Well bastard. Right, okay. Let's check these doors. Open but up it the does door. make me yeah. wonder when you, when you look back at, at Alien... That 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 ship was a space jockey ship, right? And yeah. It was transporting the eggs. Yeah. How much the ship had alien nest inside it? 
well, like all of the eggs where they were, yeah, and all the wars going all the way through, looked more alien than it did, say, Promethean. Well, how long would you say the derelict spacecraft has been there in Alien? So would you say that uh, you know an alien nest did exist on, well, in the ship before? Well, and, and then that, laid all those eggs. The way I always looked at it as is that he was transporting the uh, transporting the stuff. From what yeah. I know of the films, he was transporting the stuff. And Facehugger got out without his knowledge. Yeah. Uh, while he's sat in his shit in his chair, getting ready to take off. So he's got all this technology. Knows he's carrying these eggs and doesn't have a single motion tracker detector. Or no, because when you're a godlike species like that, ego gets the better of you, and you think you're above everything else because Wait, I, you I, I are a god. I don't god. think any arrogance would. Well, actually, it's, yeah, he's it's he's, he's right. a god. He's a god. So he sits in the chair. That's the only way you can describe it. Is that he was sat in the chair. The Facehugger latched onto him and took him out. And now, so he just decided to sit there until it burst as well. No, maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't actually wake up. We don't know how the engineers work like that. True. You know, true. so we don't know how he's actually, you know, if he's woken up at any point. And I if re- he hasn't, I, I, and the chest burster breaks maybe, out, maybe he was in flight when he well, was yes, chest bursting, and then, it, then he crashed the ship and got maybe knocked out, knocked out or something. Chest, not not crashed the ship, then been chest burst. Chest burster gets out, and it's a standard chest burst. Well, maybe it was the crash that woke up one of the eggs, which knocked out the sensors, which meant the. Okay, okay, you think too much into it now. <laughs> chest, bur- chest burster gets out, yeah. and realizes that it's the only one. This light, this planet LV426 is completely devoid of life, yeah. and so over time, it feeds on the jockey or whatever it can feed off of him, and then. You know, goes down and starts to, because we, you know, starts to change the ship into yeah. a hive so that it can feel custom. And then over time, maybe turn into a queen. And there's a queen now sat there in the in the ship. Yeah. But they, it's it's plausible. It's it's all plausible. Hell of a it's... lot more possible than bloody Prometheus with him just wearing a helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because that was then not a suit of armor that he's wearing. Yeah. It, I mean, it doesn't add up. From Alien to Prometheus, the guy in the suit still doesn't add it up. It still doesn't add up. But, you know, going back and watching Alien, you can see that that's not a mask. That's an elephant man yeah. thing. Because <laughs> you can see his ribcage exposed Yeah, from the uh, from the splat attack. I mean, maybe, yeah, okay, if you um, spent a bit more on the, the Blu-ray effects or the HD effects for Alien or remade it, then you could change all that. But... Still doesn't change the fact that, yeah, he was on the ship all on his own, where in Prometheus there's like 35 of them running around one ship. Yeah. Come on, you... Because I'm looking for the pilot chamber. No one to find you guys. I've already killed you guys like a hundred times. Oh, Ooh. I nailed him. Was that a ricochet or did you just fire a... I accidentally fired at the wall and <laughs> almost killed myself. I was going to say, you do take damage from your own explosions. You kill an alien at point-blank range, it's uh, yeah, game I've, over. Yeah, I've only got 38 health, which is noticed actually. 37 now. Keep uh, stepping in those acid puddles. I remember now that this these levels were, yeah, quite repetitive because you had to keep walking around looking for activating doors. That was the, the only downfall of the game. But, you know, it's it was, you know, find, yeah, find the yellow key card for the yellow door. Yeah, well, there's no, no key yeah. cards in this section. It's just literally, oh, hell. Run up to the door. Does it open? No. So, c- what cause the you hell got, is that? You got these ones. These are the doors that I've already opened. Yeah, but what is that? I don't know. A, Alien egg with a jetpack on top of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, no, that one's not going to activate. There's another alien egg with a jetpack on. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that's all you had to do. Was there was an escape room. Right. Yes. I, if I remember rightly, pilot chamber five. Ah, now pilot you're, which one are you on now? This, this will be the egg chamber before we go back to that same section and have to run around for the pilot chamber to open up. Oh, okay. So, do I go back to the menu or do I make my way through the egg chamber? Um, let's go back to the menu. Let's go back to the menu. Let's do the egg chamber and a queen battle to uh, see this video out. Yeah, I think that's best off. I mean, like I said, if you want me to, if you want us to make a sequential playthrough, we will do those kind of things. But yeah, nah, at the moment we're just we're just playing Alien Trilogy. Yeah, I'm just happy to be playing Alien Trilogy. I'm happy to be seeing it again. It's right. uh, okay. Pilot chamber. We'll go for pilot chamber five. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's the one. And then there's a queen out right after. Uh, awesome. So it all should work out. Yeah. 
I don't think we'll get the ending sequence. No, no. We'll we'll save that for a, a sequential should we choose to do it. If yeah. not, I'm sure the video exists on YouTube somewhere. And probably anybody watching this video has probably already seen it. Yeah. Just right there. Is that Hicks's shotgun or is that, that just That is Hicks's a... shotgun. Or the shotgun representing Hicks's. Pretty much, yeah. So, right. Okay. Die. Nice. Oh, geez. the hell? Is the new the... type of aliens, the standing dog aliens, I suppose? I guess so. They take a, a pounding. No, they don't take much when you hit them with a grenade. No, it was pretty much the ah. be all end all. What, what the chest burst around my face? <laughs> God, those things are aggressive. I don't know how one of those little things could kill you. It's so Nibble, it's yeah. so tiny. Do they, do they have their inner mouth jaws? Then they do, don't they? Um, uh, no, it's not fully developed. Ah. I don't, um, well, actually, there's that one in Resurrection. True. Yeah. But I, I suppose they they probably do, but it's not very well developed. It's still going to give you a nasty bite. <laughs> I, I did see, actually. Um, I'm a big fan of The Amazing World of Gumball okay. on Cartoon Network. And the mum in that show is a cat. And she's 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 a great mum, but she, her once, once she gets so stressed out, she literally hulks out. Right. And in a recent episode, she was getting annoyed at some receptionist at uh, the city hall uh, for something or whatever. And... She smashes her head. The mum smashes her head into the like bulletproof glass that they have in front of the receptionist. Mm, right. And she starts screaming at the receptionist to get this job done that they weren't doing. And then she opens her mouth and her tongue turns into the inner jaws from Alien. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, okay, there's going to be a bunch of kids around the world who, who are not going to get that reference, but I totally get it. <laughs> Die! It does always make me laugh when they these they have these shows that are you know, intended for kids, but yes. they always have these, these references. Just because they know that the, you know the parents watching watching these shows, being forced to watch these shows with their kids at home, yeah. will at least get it. So is this is this, the uh, this is the aha! It is the room. Well, I'm just clearing it out first. It looks a hell of a lot smaller. <laughs> <laughs> you know the uh, distress signal is should be just around the corner. If you could yeah. just go and activate that now, yeah, you, just, you just prevent the events of alien isolation even off. occurring. I'm looking for a red button. Am I looking for a red button? Got that? You're looking for something energy based or bizarre. That's really bizarre. Just put your hand in it and it'll stop. Yeah, where is it? There he is. Nice. Can you not? You can't jump, can you? I, can, I, you can, I can walk up the slope and get closer. Ah, cool. But I mean, this it just is, looks pretty pixelated right now. This is always it's been not as good so as my cool. imagination remembered it. The, with the fact this that the first time you can walk around yeah, it in a three D shape. I got you know I got to this part of the game and I'm like, oh my god, I'm stood next to the derelict. You just want to jump up and try and look down the down the, the, the scope. Is it yeah. a gun? Is it coordinates? What is it? What is he looking at? Can you see the hole in his chest? No, I can't. That's what, I can't what you up. want to do. You just want to yeah. see the hole in his chest. You bastard! You started this whole thing. Right, okay, I'm gonna carry on as well, see if I can get to the end level, and then fight the queen. You can do this, come on. I know, I should probably just get the smart gun out. I mean, you can, exactly, you could probably just stand, walk from where you are to the exit with the finger on the trigger. Ooh, protective boots. Ah, you don't need those, you got your pink acids. Yeah, I got my pink acids on. Die! I got a lot of practice of, on first-person shooters by playing this game. Well, I know that you're a Doom veteran as well, whereas yeah. I was more of the Wolfenstein um, as a veteran in terms of first-person shooters, playing them on max difficulties. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but this one, this one, I, I, I just, I mean, I'd say that Wolfenstein was probably trickier than this one in terms of finding the the key codes. Oh yeah, because yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, Wolfenstein had that going for it because it was it was pretty simple, so they had to make the puzzles yeah. a bit more difficult. Doom was a good mixture, where it was just it like... It was a lot faster paced. Yeah, okay, this is still really hard, and it's really still difficult to get the codes, and if you can do that, then, yeah, you've got skills. Quake was a mass bigger one on that. Yeah, it's just I, like, I, if you could do Quake, you could pretty much do freaking anything. couldn't do Quake. I played Quake, just couldn't... I never, I just, I never really got comfortable with it. What I loved about Alien Trilogy was the fact that 
it tried to stem away from that. Okay, it's a first person shooter, and yeah, it runs pretty much on the same stuff for Doom and Duke Nukem and all that does. Yeah. But we're not going to make you wander around and find three key cards. Exactly. We're just yeah. going to give you the task at the end. You know, if you found the battery and opened up the door, yeah, you got bonuses. You got bonuses. Oh. But so there are three alien ah. queen encounters yep. in this game. Yep. And each one signals pretty much the end of of that chapter. Of that chapter into the next movie per se. And you know, it, this was the, the, the I still remember the first time I came across the alien queen in this game. Yeah. It's just oh like, god, Jesus. You know, the first time you came into a big chamber and saw all these eggs, you were just like, "Whoa, what what?" Yeah. And like I said on Xenomania these, these these face huggers once you kill them coming. they'll just keep spawning so you're you're running around trying to fight the queen and the eggs over and over oh man it's it's painful yeah painful i imagine grab that the hyper well i mean painful by this by this point the, the, queen I'd already... does, the queen does only detach herself once you've killed everything else in here no the queen attaches detaches herself once you get close ah okay so, so it's I, just my, wise to go in it's always wise to go around destroy all the eggs you don't have to mess with them. I mean, she'll just stay there until I get close. Or you fire a grenade in her face. Or I fire a grenade in her face. Which I so believe Ripley should have done that in the movie. Right. <laughs> I'm out of flame for a round. Okay, shotgun. 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 Run away. Run away. Nice, nice. Got the flamethrower for you. That's what I wanted. Come on, <laughs> you big bitch. I mean, look at that. I'm fighting an alien queen. I'm uh, an alien queen. It looks like she's dancing right now. She's, you know, arms stretched out doing, doing yeah, some sort well, of dance move, shaking her hips. I mean, what what was the place? 32 bit? Yeah. 32 bit? This is 32 bit graphics. No, it was, it was more than 32. Reliving, reliving, like, the greatest moments in cinema. Yeah. History. I mean, I, I still like to play this game every now and again just to play one level or two. Yeah. Just as a switch off from, from the other games that I play. It is, you know, it's. If I had to say one of the best games ever on the PlayStation One, this one's in that in the top ten. Oh uh, yeah, definitely, definitely. This this uh, run, run, come on. I mean, I I get tense every time I fire. I could probably stand there and take like Just, three or four hits from her because it's not as hard as I remember it being. Yeah, but I'm not gonna run that risk. You remember your training. You remember yeah. your how to face these things from your. Xenomania playthroughs. Let's rock! Yeah! Get some! Dancing left and right. Quick reload. Just keep strafing. Left, keep right, strafing. back, forwards. Back, forward. Come on. Well, maybe Eat not so it. much forwards. Spill, the, spill your green stuff all over the floor. Dang. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot. There's these little ramps as well. Oh yeah, there was also secret areas as well, I think, where you've got like a minute to go and grab as much gear as possible. Yeah, it, it was basically, this area will explode uh, in 30 seconds, you need to um, click, well, you need to kill everything, which there was never any enemies on there anyway. No, no. And you need to just collect ammo, which I always found was a bit shit, because you ended up using more grenades to open up the... Were you fucking... I'm running away. <laughs> uh, you used up more grenades opening up the doors than you did keeping for the actual next level. Yeah, yeah. So the bonus level. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! It's an elevator full of face hookers. Okay, well that's just gonna. Uh, we've gone a little bit over time, but I just want to say thanks everyone for reminiscing with us as we've taken another bite out of our nostalgic childhoods playing a video game that that many people would have forgotten by yep. forgotten about by now. Uh, always a pleasure to play with you, Ian. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll be back next Friday with another video game. Uh, in the meantime, our film review is going up on Thursdays. Our yep. sequential playthrough is going up on Saturdays. You can find us on Facebook and on Twitter. And if you'd like to show that extra bit of support, you can join us on Patreon. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Boom. Yeah. Knock it out of the park, why don't we? Alien fucking trilogy. Dun, 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 dun. And it's 20 to 5. Nice. So while well, you saw that shit out, yep. I'm going to go downstairs. Alrighty. I'm getting myself a drink. Oh. Oh.
Uh, and it's eight o'clock. Yay.